I'm Elizabeth Patey. I play Harriet Stanley. I'm Carl Bomber. I play Beverly Carlton. And we are both in The Man Who Came to Dinner. Woohoo! Actually, instead of using these questions, I kind of wrote some of my own questions. <laughs> wow! Just to try this out a little bit. Wow! Yeah, okay. Okay. How does it feel to be the Maggie Smith of the Apex stage? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> is that a question for me or is that for you? you? <laughs> in that I'm old? You know, uh, it's interesting that they that they waited, you know, to, for the veterans. You know, we're not, we weren't the first round. <laughs> we weren't the second round, we're the third round. In what ways is the man who came to dinner the pinnacle of your EPAC career? It gives me a chance to work with you again. Well, that is and true. And to refine that is my true. skills in helping you realize your character. Actually, I mean, I just think it's it's great because of the cast, because I, we do it all get along so well. We do. Yes, and a lot do. of us have known each other for, for super long. long. Like, I don't know how long we've known each other, like maybe 25 maybe years, something, something around something there. Like that. Yes. Our, my first production was with you. Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd, 1993. Okay. What's your favorite per Carl Bomberger performance <laughs> in the EPAC stage? My favorite Carl Bomberger performance mm. is the one where I can't remember what you sang in Oliver, <laughs> The Knife Grinder. When, all that I remember from I was, that is when you're like, I was thinking you were going to that. I was actually trying to think of my favorite Elizabeth performance. Okay. Um, I think, I'm not sure, it might have been the first Sunday in the park. Um, just because I just really, I just thought that was so fantastic. Do you have a soft spot for the old theater? I do. So do I. I do. I think there was something great about the old kind of rickety, falling apart yeah. barn that... Birds that, flying Yeah, yeah the crappy dressing rooms. The crappy dressing rooms. Time yeah. to go outside going, going to make outside it Going outside the shows and going outside to the yeah. restroom. I mean, there's no going back. We would not choose no, to go no, back to that. Where in your home do you keep your Broadway World Award? <laughs> They're with me always in my head since you don't actually get one. <laughs> when you hear the word EPAC, is it the word? It's not the word. Okay. For teachers, what comes to mind? I really think as an overall experience, um, from professionalism to just final product, I really think you can't go wrong with coming to see something here. What comes to mind is Ed Fernandez. Oh, see, that's better than my answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it really kind of is. You know, every production that I do with Ed is I learn something, I enjoy the process. When you work with Ed, there's a commitment to the process and a commitment to the work and a passion yes. about the work yes. that you don't necessarily get all of the time. Yeah, and, and to be fair, I haven't performed at a lot of other no, community haven't. theaters. A couple. <laughs> a couple. <laughs> Hey, I got oh, another no. question for I'm, you. I'm gonna have a drink. <laughs> yes, I think you should. Oh. Is it true that in your EPAC contract contains a rider stipulating the maximum number of steps that you'll be expected to climb during any <laughs> performance? Yes. Right, that was a personal question. Yes, that, that is a personal question, and that is certainly true if Mike Rhodes. And you are climbing the, steps in this performance. I am climbing. Oh, well, I'm actually coming down them okay. more often than I'm climbing which them. Which is impressive. But don't give it away, mm. girl. Sorry. Okay. Any favorite moments? at EPAC? Well, besides this one? Besides this one. Obviously. <laughs> besides any time I show the stage with Elizabeth Payne. Have you ever actually been on the stage at the same time? During curtain calls. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably good. <laughs> What's your favorite show that I've done? Oh, that's a better question. Thank you. Um, you know, I <laughs> think... I mean, other than Sunday, the original Sunday. The original Sunday. I agree. Really I'm really trying to Sunday. think. Oh shoot, there was something recent that I thought you were so good at. The humans. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was great. That was great. The angels in America. Angels in America. I felt that was like Elizabeth Beatty. I. Get her an acting coach. No. But <laughs> aside from that, I, no. Which animal best describes your character? A unicorn, but not really a normal unicorn. You know what? I really buy that. Okay. I think there's a quirky. There's a but there's kind a thing maybe with a uh, yeah with with some sort of mental <laughs> yes problems. <laughs> um, I think with Beverly, I he's kind of a peacock. I mean, I hate to oh, be that's good cliche. That's good. No, well, you know, maybe. <laughs> should audiences come see this play? It's it's kind of the inverse of what a lot of plays are at EPAC. Mm -hmm. it's, it's less drama, more comedy, mm -hmm. 
there's still a little seriousness, but it's just, just kind of lunacy at points. It's like there's a smorgasbord of characters. There I is. I just love that just now. And yes. if you don't yeah. like one character, give it a couple give minutes. Give it a couple minutes, they'll be gone. That's exactly right. <laughs>